my mum once actually, she sent me this poem probably about five years ago trying to explain to me what it was like to have a child with dwarfism and it was um, something about how, you know, you're planning to go to Paris your whole life and, you, you know, you plan and you're going and you get on the plane and it's so exciting and then it stops and you're in Holland <laughs> and Holland's, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous, you love Holland but it's not really like Paris but it's still Holland so it's still good but it's not exactly what you were planning for. Um, so I guess that's the best analogy. But yeah, uh, my, lo lots of people were upset, but I think now everyone, everyone's almost thinks it's one of my best assets because it's kind of in a way, not that I say my disability defines who I am, but it's definitely made me into the person I am, like in terms of everything I've been through in my life experiences and who I've kind of become, so. My name is Kate Wilson. I'm 20 years old and I'm studying a Bachelor of Vision Science and Master of Optometry at UNSW. Um, so my disability is called achondroplasia, which is uh, the most common form of dwarfism. Um, so 80% of people born with achondroplasia have average height parents. So that's my parents, they do not have my condition. It was just an extremely random mutation that just happened, uh, much to their surprise. Um, so yeah, it, and basically what it is, it affects just the upper and lower limbs of my body. So I have completely normal torso, everything else works fine. Um, it's just the, I can't, the cartilage in my body is basically, it's like a tap and it doesn't know how to turn off, but it has problems. My body has problems converting the cartilage that I produce to actual bone. So hence I have shorter and shorter arms and legs. You know, I've had lots of people like say like, oh, look at that fucking midget. Like I was so fucker. And like I was um, standing kind of right there. And then, oh, you know, I'll be um, doing, like I'll be standing and they'll come and film me. And then like I had one time a group of guys just kind of dance around me and make some really inappropriate kind of sexual moves and they thought it was really funny. Um, and it was not so much even that I was a woman, it was more for the fact that they thought basically, they basically think I'm a huge joke. My friends have found things where I've been, there's photos of me posted online on like this, um, midgets we would fuck page or something and there's photos of me just there so that, that kind of sucks <laughs> i just had the most amazing support system in my entire life um like everyone oh they just they everyone just stands up for me and it's the most amazing thing and even people that are so unexpected that you never think would kind of do that and they do and it's just like wow like oh, it's just it's incredible <laughs> no, Rio was beyond the most incredible thing I've ever experienced. Um, I didn't think it would be that incredible, which sounds weird, because you spend kind of four years or a majority, like a big chunk of what seemed of my life at the time, just training and dedicating yourself to it, and not in a way really knowing how amazing it is. And then once I got there, it was like, oh my god, like this, this is this is what I've been training for for the past four years like this or basically my life like this is just it, it just it was so unreal and just the most surrealist thing I've ever like it the whole time it almost felt like I wasn't even there and it wasn't until I got back that I actually was able to almost comprehend what it was like because it was just it was just insane like what I thought it was going to be it was just ten times that um, I think one of the best moments was my one of my first races, um, it was just a relay. I was just a heat swimmer. So I was just the backup swimmer basically. And we were versing Brazil. Um, just And this was in a heat. Nothing like, no one was winning medals at this time or anything like this. And so I dove in and I'd swim my first race and I got out of the pool and um, I was the second last swimmer. So the swimmer before the anchor. And then Brazil won, just the heat. And the crowd just went absolutely like, mental like I've been to sporting games like NRL grand finals like things like that but this was just next level like it was it was insane and I remember just looking around thinking holy crap like I'm actually here like wow I made it like this this is it like holy like I don't know it's just like it really was the first time that it kind of just hit me and yeah that that was it was it was just incredible yeah Three Australians racing they're separated across the pool by a smattering of 
athletes from the United States and Great Britain and just the one Irish swimmer in lane one. There's Kate Wilson, she's 18, from Kingscliff in New South Wales, one of the three Australians. This is the second of her five events. Nicole Turner, the youngster, 14. She was fifth at Worlds in this event. I always talk to my swimming friends, swimming always just feels like the closest thing to flying, as stupid as it sounds. But it's, I think I'll always swim. It'll always just be something that I do, always be a part of me. Whether I'm swimming competitively or not, not sure. But yeah, I think I'll, I'll definitely still be swimming in 10 years. If you could give one advice to those who are watching this, what would it be? Um, super cliche, but live your best life. Like, I don't know, just live it. As in, life is like too short, and if I, if everyone, if I listened to everything that everyone else said, I would be a sad person in a dark room, and I would never go out, and I would never do anything. But I think you just gotta live your best life, and know who you are, and confident and be in who yourself is, and then like basically don't give a fuck about what anyone else says. And like that's, I think that's just what I've done my whole life, and I have, well, I think an amazing life. Like I'm in college and it's just, it's been, it's been pretty sick. So yeah. All right, thank you very much.